In this video, we'll look at recovering encrypted files after a ransomware attack has locked and rendered them unusable. With Zerto, we can roll back to just prior to the infection and quickly restore the compromised files and folders. Let's start on the Zerto dashboard and see the current state of things. You'll notice right off the bat, one of the most important stats is right up top, average RPO or recovery point objective. At rock bottom, this is a measurement of data loss. How far back in time do we have to rewind to get the last copy of data? In this environment, you can see that if there's a disruption, we're likely to only lose seconds worth of data. On the VPGs tab, you can see the applications we're protecting using Zerto's Continuous Data Protection, or CDP. Thanks to one-to-many simultaneous replication, we're protecting some of these applications and VMs to multiple targets at the same time. In fact, for the file server, we're replicating locally to the same site, remotely to a DR site, and then also up to the cloud using Azure as a target as well. One-to-many lets us take advantage of unique infrastructure profiles at each site, as well as diversify our data estate to adhere to a 321 or even a 432 strategy. Of course, these days, many organizations are thinking about 3211, that is, also have an immutable copy, ideally offsite. If we look at the settings for this protection group, you'll see that we're doing exactly that, making an additional offsite copy from the journal and storing in immutable blobs in Azure. This repository in Azure is also portable, meaning it can be reattached to new Zerto infrastructure after an attack, even if the original primary and secondary sites are down or compromised. To demonstrate ransomware recovery with Zerto, Let's RDP inside a Windows VM where we have some sample files saved. Since the ransomware hasn't impacted these files just yet, the PDFs can be opened and read as expected. But let's close out of here and simulate a ransomware attack via a local app that was presumed to be safe. However, when we run this app, unfortunately, it was the critical trigger point for the ransomware to start encrypting those files we were just looking at. You can see their extension has now changed to dot encrypted. If we tab back to Zerto now, you'll notice that our encryption analyzer has processed the new writes in real time and flagged that something anomalous is going on. Zerto has sent up three alerts since this VM is in three VPGs. And you'll notice that the VPG state has changed after the ransomware encrypted our files it's been flagged as a potential encryption event. Inline encryption detection lets you know within seconds whether something malicious might be occurring in your environment, including noting at a volume, VM, and app level where the anomalies were detected. If you had Zerto integrated with a SIM, SOAR, or observability and security solutions, as is recommended, these same encryption analyses and detection alerts can be automatically piped into your larger security stack. We now have a few different options to recover our data depending on the blast radius and how severe the compromise is. For example, we could recover all affected applications to our DR or cloud site, or simply restore one or more VMs without doing a full failover. In this example, we can near instantly restore the locked files since the ransomware spread was minor and we verified that the source VM has been cleaned of any malware droppers or loaders. Let's kick off the recovery process in the bottom left here. And you'll notice in a minute how simple and quick this really is. We're gonna first select 
which VM had the affected files. And then next we'll get a look at the Zerto journal and all the hundreds or thousands of restore points that are available to us, each separated by only a few seconds. Remember, that's the RPO we looked at in the beginning. On the right hand side, you'll also notice that Zerto automatically tagged some of the checkpoints based on the ransomware event. It highlights when an anomaly was detected and going back in time, highlights which prior checkpoints are likely to be safe and clean. So let's pick one of these clean recovery points, knowing of course that if it turns out to not be correct, Zerto makes it very easy to revert and iteratively cycle through restore points very quickly to find the right exact point in time. Once our VM disk is mounted, we have a very familiar directory browser to navigate to the encrypted files and restore the ones we want. With those selected, the last step is simply to decide whether to restore those files directly back to the original location or to download locally and re-add re manually to this VM or another destination. Once I click start, Zerto will begin the recovery. In fact, we can watch this happen live on the original VM. If we switch back to the RDP session, you'll see the files start to appear right back here on the original VM. They'll be added to this timestamp folder where all the recovery will take place. And with that, we're done. The files have been recovered with almost no data loss and very minimal disruption. Ransomware can really vary in methodologies and severity, but Zerto's flexible architectures, real-time detection, and deep cyber recovery routes allow organizations to quickly rewind in time and dramatically mitigate the impact of an attack.